Right, what else do we need for Christmas? Well, we need mince pies. Always got to have a mince pie at Christmas. It's the only time of the year you want one. Now, it's a bit silly to be messing around making them, considering that I can get eight flaky pastry mince pies ready made with nice crunchy granular tops of sugar for two pounds in Morrison's today, whereas it cost me one pound seventy for this jar of mince meat there yesterday, not including the egg, the caster sugar, the butter and the plain flour. But where's the fun in that? We're going to make mince pies in the foodie. Okay, going to start off, I'm only going to make about four pies, okay, because there's only three of us here tonight. So I'm going to start off with 95 grams of plain flour. Oh, 98 grams. Oh, that's no good. 95 grams, there we go, that's what we want. So, now we need 65 grams of butter, which I'm going to pop in with that. And it's not, not particularly hard, it's not melted, it's slightly softer, it's been at room temperature all day. So, we need 65 grams of that chopped up because I'm going to work that in, rub it in, and bread crumb it. So Mrs. Whitaker taught me how to crumb my my pastry at Whirlingham Middle School. Was it Mrs. Cooper? It was Mrs. Cooper. Mrs. Whitaker taught French. So basically, you're getting your hands into the bowl. You've got your flour and your butter, and you're just rubbing them together like this, a pinching movement with your fingers. I was smiling because you can imagine how lovely that must feel for the flour. So, you're basically making it up like, like little bread crummy type bits and bobs. Okay? Don't over mix it. Don't do it with hot hands. Okay? You want to keep your hands cool, otherwise your pastry goes wrong. So, if you want to come and have a little look, Carl. So that's all sort of like crumbed nicely now. So, I need to put in 30 grams of sugar and caster sugar and a quarter of an egg. Quarter of an egg because I'm supposed to use one egg and make 16 of them. But like I said, I don't need 16 mince pies because I'll only get fat. So, 30 grams caster sugar. A little bit of the egg. That's all beaten, so there's there's white and yellow in there. White and yolk, I should say. Now I'm going to mix all that together now to make my pastry. So the egg is going to bind it in place of milk or water or any other liquid. I'm just going to press it all together initially. This, and start squeezing it into a ball. Remember, don't overwork it. Time to clear the decks. We need plain flour down now. Let's put the pastry on. I've got the ball of pastry there. Pop that on that, I can roll that out, pat that down, and get it ready for cutting. If you've got a rolling pin, you can use it. If you haven't got one, you need to improvise. If you've got cutters, you can use them. If you haven't, again, you've got to improvise. So, I'm going to divide this into four.
Roll my little ball here. Okay, so flex pin and start rolling out my pastry. Just sticking a little. A small six muffin tin. Just give it a little bit of a buttering. I'm going to lay my pastry in, lay that in, and gently pop it down into the holes. It's breaking up, which is not uh, very pleasing, but we can deal with that. Nice sharp knife, just cut around the top, get that spare off. Got to keep that because that's going to become my lid. I want a crumbly mince pie, so hopefully this is going to give me that. You can just use short crust pastry, bought stuff, you know. It's perfectly acceptable to do that, but then you might as well just buy the whole thing, buy the whole mince pie. Yeah, so I shape that up, get that to nice shape. Okay. Open up my open up my Robertson's mince meat. Get a wadge of it. Drop that in. And then I'm gonna make myself a little lid out of the remaining bits of pastry. Gonna crimp it around the top edges. You see how it's crimped round now? So now I'm just going to nibble off the edges. Put a few little holes in the top of the pastry. Allow the steam to come out. And a quick wipe of egg. And that is your mince pie. So I'm now going to fill the others and then we'll come back. So there are my four mince pies, they're all ready to go in. It's uh, created quite a mess in my kitchen, quite a mess on me. I'm not the world's best baker. But I'm going to pop them into the fridge for now to cool down while we're waiting for the rest of the meal to be done. What's on my <laughs> And this is why I'm going to his house, not my I'm house. Fine. I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not making these things again. <laughs> hey, it's taken me about an hour <laughs> to make four mince pies. I'm going to taste as good and I'm going to cost twice as much. So my really messy and amateurish looking mince pies have come out of the fridge, ready to go into the Ninja Foodie. Warming up to 200, which I'll give it 15 minutes. So mince pies are 10 minutes in. Let's lift the lid and have a look. Oh, they're looking good. They're looking good. They're actually looking like they're probably done. So, what I'm going to do for the last five minutes is I'm going to drop my temperature down to 150 just to make sure that the inside is cooked. The outside certainly is. So, it's just beeps. So, let me take my mince pies out and put them on there so that's 
10 minutes at 200, 5 minutes at 150. They look a lot darker on the screen than they are, I think. They look nice. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on, and I'll leave them to cool a little bit, pop them out onto the cooling tray, and then let them cool some more, and then eat them. I like the flavour and texture of the pastry. That pastry's nice. See, that's a bit... That's, that's not that's quite big. short crust, not... It's sort of like a bit coming apart, which is what I was hoping for. So here's my stunt mince pie. These are the first mince pies I've ever made in my life. I've done them in the Ninja, and that is actually really good. The pastry's very tasty. Normal sugar on the top. It's got a bit of a crunch, which ice and sugar doesn't. They're crispy. They're warm. Really nice. The Robertson's filling is nice. Bottom is nice and hard. I'm really pleased with it. Was it worth the effort? No.